Hi folks, um, in this video I'm going to show you how to show zero values or null values on a ClickView chart. It's from a question I received from a, an individual on YouTube, so I'm going to attempt to show you. So basically we have a small piece of data here with years, months, um, costs and profits. So you can see we've got some zero values. So we want to show them on a chart. So one way of doing it is creating a bar chart. The expression or dimension we're going to use is months um, and we're going to use some profit as the expression so if we click on finish you'll notice um, if we drag the chart out if we select these values you'll see that it's not showing um, the months that have zero values so basically we clear the selection one way we can show this is we can say some profit plus zero dot zero zero one and click OK. So now you'll see that we have a value representing the the two months that we're missing. So and we don't want to show zero dot zero zero one, so how would we, we get out of that was our how we would fix that is using the num function. So we can say num. Actually, we need to put this in its own. Uh, so we need to wrap the sum profit plus 0, 0, 0.001 0 .001 in its own uh, parentheses and then say num, comma, and we're going to format the, whatever the result is as 0, 0, 0.00. So now if we click OK. And we hover over this you'll see the result is zero zero so then we can go back into properties and we can say profit and then we can show values of data points and now you can see it shows a value of zero on the bar chart another way of doing it is actually if we copy this we could just say some profit You can't use this on all occasions, but for small little charts where the date is small like that, you could. So we're going to click OK on this. So you see we lose the zero values, but if we go in and we add a new expression and just say row number, you know, it's, it's simple enough because we know we've only got a small data set, which has like got 10 rows or whatever. So we say row number, but we don't want to see it as a bar chart, and we want the values and data points. And for the profit, we put the the text on axis. So now we click apply. We then keep the um, the zero values by using the row number. So you can see row number one, two, three up to ten. So that's pretty much it. That's a couple of ways of keeping the zero values in the chart. I hope that helps and I'll see you next video. Cheers.